If you aren't already in love with Mick the Pup, get ready because you're about to be. Mick, a Boston Terrier, was born with swimmer puppy syndrome, a condition where dogs are born with a flat chest and sternum, causing their legs to point out to the sides. And puppies born with this condition are unable to sit, stand or walk. And generally, dogs born with swimmer puppy syndrome are euthanized. But Mick was one of the lucky ones. His breeder sent him to the Mia Foundation, a nonprofit in New York that focuses on helping animals overcome birth defects. Now, Sue Rogers, the founder of the Mia Foundation, knew the road to recovery would be difficult, but she was resolved to help the young pup. Rogers posted an inspiring video chronicling Mick's recovery, and Sue joins us now to discuss the video and the latest about Mick. Thanks for joining us today, Sue, and hi to Mick. Hi. Here's Mick. It's so great to have you on. Um, so just tell us a little bit, when you first met Mick, did you think that you were going to be able to help him? I did not. When, he for, when I first um, got my hands on him, I could not believe how flat he was. Um, but we tried, and, and um, as you can see by the video, he's, he's done remarkably well. So tell us a little bit more about his rehabilitation. How did you go about um, the rehabilitation process? Well, the first step when we first got him was I would swaddle him like a baby and I would wrap him really tight in a blanket. Um, so we would get his shoulders and his hips into the right position and I would just carry him around like that for hours. And then, um, then we started hanging him from his little harness, as you just saw, and that put his legs into the proper position. Um, and then we started with the swim therapy, which he wasn't comfortable with at first but he got better as time went on. And then um, the final step was taping his legs together. And that's really when he took off, was when we started that form of therapy. Now, this is the first time that the Mia Foundation has attempted like um, something like this. And we said at the top that, you know, many of the dogs with swimmer puppy syndrome are euthanized. So, you know, how hopeful are you for a good outcome in this case? From the progress he's shown over the last two weeks, I, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to go on to live a long, normal, happy life. Um, but he's, he's a perfect example of why veterinarians or breeders should just give these little guys a chance. And they should also know that if they don't have the time involved to commit to them, that there are organizations out there and there are volunteers and there are foster homes mm. that have the time and the desire. Uh, so, you know, that's that's all we're hoping for. And we hope that Mick can be an inspiration. And obviously, you know, Mick was fortunate. He he came from a loving breeder that wanted to give him a chance. So he was one of the fortunate ones. And obviously you were just saying that, you know, it, it takes a lot of commitment. And obviously you've put in that time and commitment. What's been your proudest moment so far um, with Mick? Just watching him run in the grass, just, just as you guys saw that video, I mean, that was that was one of our happiest moments with him. And I knew at that point that he was on the road to recovery and that he was going to be just fine. And obviously you've fallen in love with him and so have we at HuffPost Live. What's the reception been to the video since you've posted it? it it's just blown me away. I, I can't even believe it. Um, but I mean, look, look how cute he is. So <laughs> we've had um, a, a lot of support from all over the world. And again, I just hope that his story, um, his inspirational story can help others like him. So, OK, tell us a little bit about what are the next steps. What's next for, uh, for Mick in terms of rehabilitation and then maybe uh, rehoming? Well, he's still a puppy, so he has to finish his puppy shots. He has to finish um, a little bit more therapy. You know, I mean, we're done with the tape and the swimming and all of that. But now, you know, a new form of therapy is just walking on the hardwood floors. Um, without splaying out flat, and, and he's doing well with that as you know as well. Um, you know, and he has to finish his his puppy shots and 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 get neutered. And so probably within the next three to four weeks, he will be available for adoption. And just in general, I mean, like, you know, Mick is obviously a very specialist case because, the, as you said, the Mia Foundation really hasn't attempted something quite like this before. Just tell us a little bit about what kind of work that the Mia Foundation does. The Mia Foundation takes in any animal that's born with a birth defect that would otherwise be euthanized at birth, um, such as puppies born with cleft palates or missing limbs or, you know, hydrocephalus, which is water on the brain. Um, we'll take in any animal born with a birth defect 
and um, we will get them all the vetting they need. We go through Cornell University, which is in New York State, and um, and then once we get them all better, we adopt them out to forever homes.